Hiya, welcome back. Um, I, this is take two actually and I've already started cutting my paper because I thought I pressed pause on the video and I didn't. <laughs> I stopped it. But this is the box we're going to make. Like I said, I'd come back on and I'd do the Christmas journal, um, junk journal box for that. Um, and this is the box. I'm using the New Year of Cheer DSP and it does come, you can get the washi tape to match and I did have that somewhere. You can get this washi tape which is beautiful and there's a stamp set. Um, which is this one and then there's some lovely papers as well um, so this is the box I have already cut everything out um, so I'm just going to run through what you're going to need the paper sizes the bottom of the paper is eight and three quarter inches for the bottom by ten and three quarter inches and this is the bottom you're going to score that at half an inch and two inches um, on all four sides and then you're going to cut it like this I I haven't finished cutting all the lid, so I'm going to show you on the lid just to make sure that you know, because it's going to be a reinforced box. So the flaps will lift up like that, and then these will fold over. But that's what you need to have, so if you want to pause it, just so that you can see. So you're scoring at half an inch and two inches on all four sides. Then you're removing the two sections around the edge and just notching in. And then for the lid, it's seven and three quarter inches and a sixteen. Um, I'm just going to show you what that is, just in case you don't know. So, you'll get your paper. I'm just going to use this, this book. So, you'll get your paper and it's seven and three quarter inches. So, you move it up to seven and three quarters. And then in between the eighth, there are little notches. If you just move it up, that's a sixteenth. So, if I just bring this up, so, you, so that you can see. So, that's seven and three quarters there. And then you move it up to that one little notch and that's a sixteenth. So you want seven and three quarters and a sixteenth and nine and three quarters and a sixteenth. And you're going to score that at half an inch and one and a half inches. Which will give you this and that's where I've already started cutting it here. So you've cut this end like this, just notching on that little one. And then I'm going to do this end so that you can see what I did. I hope you can see. I'll do it a bit higher up because the light is a bit bright. So you want to cut straight down there and then we're going to remove off the end piece and notch in. So we've taken that away and we've got that. And then this little tab here, you're going to remove that and then you're going to just notch up both sides like that. Oops, a little bit there. And that's what you're going to do on all four of your sides. And then just notch in on this edge piece as well. So again you're just going to cut up here, cut up this one, notch out there, cut that off and then just notch into your squares. I hope you got that because I didn't want to recut really the card and do it all again. Or I'd just be wasting card. So and then notch there as well. Just check. So that's what you should have. <laughs> Excuse me. That's what you should have on both pieces. You cut them both the same. And then on these sections here, because these are going to fold in like that, you're going to want to put some tape. And I'm just going to use this red liner tape because it is really, really sticky and I like it. <laughs> so I'm just going to put that along here. Like that. And you're just going to run that on all four sides. I'm not going to pause it again. Um, because, like I said, I didn't pause it. I turned it off. I was just trying to make the video a bit shorter. Which I have done before and it's worked, but it just didn't today. And then... And this last one. And for the rest of the box to stick, I'm just going to use Tombow for that. So you want to do that on your bottom of your box as well. Just reinforces the sides and I just think it makes it more sturdy. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All my girls are at school today, so I thought I'd get a video or two done. There's that. So the last 
side. And then just cut that one off. And then to put them together, they both, you know, you do it the same way for both. Just got to run my bone folder down that. And then I'm going to take some Tombow and you want to put that on all these four tabs. But I, I am, just find my pokey tool. I'm going to remove the tape from here first because it is a lot easier when you're trying to stick it. If you leave the tape on, it can be quite fiddly to pick it all off. You'll see in a minute, but it's up to you. It's your own preference. So I'm going to use Tombow for the edges, for the tabs. And just make sure that you've got some right on the edge there. Like that. last one and then you want to stand up again <laughs> you're going to take this tab and line it up with that edge and just hold it for a second because it just takes a minute to adhere and that's what you're going to do on all four sides so then you'll take the next side and line it up to that edge like that and just hold it for a minute and then you're going to do the same at this end and line that up like that and this edge like that it is quite bright actually hope you're seeing everything okay so that's that and then what you're going to do is you're just going to tuck in all these sides and then we'll go over them with the bone folder after. So now you can just take your bone folder and run that along the edges of the box. Like that. And then that's the bottom of the box finished. And you're just going to repeat that exactly the same on the lid. So I'll move that over to one side, take our lid and I'm just going to remove these tape like that and I think this paper is so beautiful you don't even have to put anything on it at all. You could just leave it as it is and it just looks pretty like that and then you're just going to run some Tombow along these tabs again. Turn it around. And then again, you're just going to align the tab up to that opposite edge and just hold it for a second. You could put a sticky strip on the edges. I'm just, <laughs> I just like to use Tombow. But I didn't want it to warp the paper too much. That's why I put sticky strip on the edge. And then again up the side. Here. And again here. Last one. And then once you've done that, make sure that's in, you can just fold your sides down again. Like that. And then just use your bone folder just to make sure they're stuck. Like that. And hopefully... No, it will do. This lid will fit on the box perfectly. Pull that out. It is a very, very nice, as you can see, really snug fit. And you wouldn't actually need to put anything around that. That is 
it will stay on. So that's the box. So on this one, I just used some white ribbon because I haven't got any other colour at the minute. Um, I would have probably used cherry cobbler. Or you could use your dobbers and use your ink and just dye the ribbon. But we're not using that this time. We're using the Merry Little Label stamp set and the coordinating punch and I'm using Let It Snow. And I've already gone ahead and heat embossed that in um, gold. And then I've used the punch again and cut out a piece of cherry cobbler cardstock. And that's just going to be our label, Let It Snow. And that's going to go on there. It, or like I said, you don't even have to put a label on it at all. So we're using um, sheer ribbon, and that's one eighth of an inch. And I'm going to wrap this around three times, if I can remember. <laughs> so actually, we'll start here. Did I do it that way? So you're just wrapping around just to give yourself a nice little effect. And then you're going to bring it up this side and tie it off. Let's just get my little scissors. Give myself quite a big piece. And then I'm just going to thread on my tags. This will be the bit now that I can't do. <laughs> Let's have a look. There's one. This is the bit where you wish you could do editing on your video. <laughs> so just make sure your ribbon is the right way around. And it is. And then bring this one across. And then you want to tie a nice bow. Which can never be done on camera. If this bow doesn't go very good, I'll mess about with it after. Oh, that's not too bad. And then I'm just going to, it's not the best bow, but you know, never mind. I'll mess about with it a bit more off camera. So I'll cut those off, wrong way round, and then just move these up. Oh, that's twisted. It doesn't matter. You can straighten that up after, but you see on the back they lay straight. And on the front you get this really pretty... Quite nice effect I think. Can you see that? And then you've got your two little tags and your gorgeous box. So that's the box that I said I would make for the junk journal. So I hope you like that, I hope you give it a go. If you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, the link to my online shop will be in the description bar below where you can purchase any of these gorgeous gorgeous products. Like I say they're not just for Christmas, the stamp set does actually have Mr and Mrs on which is wedding, season greetings, cheers to a new year and you know you could use it for all sorts of things, snowflake so it's not just for Christmas and neither is the paper you can use it for other things. So I really hope you enjoyed that, thank you very much for watching and thank you again to all the lovely subscribers that have recently subscribed to me, I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah and that's it so see you on the next video, bye for now.